Bill and Kuchan complained to me. Bill and Kuchan complained to me all the time about my rejecting one from this home. I banned one from this home. Not on one occasion, on many occasions. Milan Kuchan absolutely was not welcome in this home, ever. Milan Kuchan was not welcome, not in this home, here, at this Novo Mesto, the Kirka here, in the village, in the suburb of the city of the Novo Mesto, nor was he welcome at our home in the city of the Novo Mesto. Before we even moved to this place here, at, at this location here, he was not welcome since my childhood anywhere in my life because he was not welcome because he engaged directly in a violence against me so he was not welcome he since my childhood incited in violence teachers police etc 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 this man branded me as mentally ill since my childhood on god knows how many occasions he was just not welcome under any circumstances anywhere in my life that's all there is to it it wasn't about this home only. Milan Kuchan was not welcome anywhere in my life. And as Slovenia make progress, independence, things turned around with my repeating one in the face that he is not welcome here. It's something he wanted to hear all the time from my ears. Um, once, uh... Very, very important. When we moved here to the Kirka location, very, very important. Uh, Milan Kuchan, after Slovenian independence, wanted to hear from me that he is not welcome here. I mean, I mean, he wanted me to repeat that he is not welcome here. Um, even when Mitya Weber, husband from uh, the Urška Golov, that's my niece, the uh, daughter of Bisarka Aus, it's my sister, pop up on the picture. Uh, that goes to 96, 97, 96, 97, even when he popped up on a picture and since uh, Milan Kuchan continued through the circle of the people that he used, create incidents uh, and a knowledge from my mouth about who he was in here, basically from my mouth that he is now welcome here. This was a procedure. So the point here is he wanted to hear from me time and again that he is not welcome here. Mitya Weber, husband of Urška Golob Weber, that is my niece, moved literally into this house during MK Ultra. He didn't live here, but his visits were like he lived here. Despite all the problems with Amitya Weber that went on, uh, this individual started to rehearse fights, physical fight with me. Beginning like 98 or 99, he started to, in the back of the house, in the parking lot, started to push me and contemplate on having a physical fight with me. Uh, something at first he wasn't really looking forward to. Uh, he needed to become uh, physically shaped enough uh, to match according to him and my strength and my skills. And so he started to practice soon after also sports. Uh, but at the time he was not. He really wanted to have a physical confrontation. It was he started to push me during MK Ultra. Uh, see just how uh, what he would have to deal with. Uh, search for the response on what type of approach I would take toward uh, the moves he would make to trigger the police case against me. A person was not nice at all. Uh, during MK Ultra, he referred to me with different names. He humiliated, he insulted me, he called me poor in the head. Uh, he was nice. At the time, he was really nice. Uh, but it became apparent that he was treating me like, uh, like you treat somebody who is mentally retarded. 
uh, and you're just using him so you can get his property transferred to your name. He, he treats him like a pencil, basically. It's like something like you would treat like, like, like some poor farmer or somebody like completely, completely impersonal. You know, you would just grab, I don't know, cow or something and push one inside or something or grab or whatever uh, to get the basic stuff done. Uh, and on other occasion, he presents himself as really nice, despite everything, because, because I believe that there is actually good people inside in this stuff. I, I was sure that maybe the guy is not so bad. Maybe the guy is under such a political pressure and so on. Uh, I was looking forward to meet him in person, and I did in 2006. That's basically after 11 and a half years, me being absent from this house as I returned. I meet this wonderful uh, husband of uh, my niece I was looking forward to become a very close friend with, uh, you know, so wonderful. Uh, the guy is got the doctoral degree, smart guy. This is a good stuff. This can only benefit. We can all benefit. The thing is that he completely blended perfectly in this environment. Like the first day when I came, the mother stopped like a Gestapo in front of the home and returned from the sea. Uh, I was like, oh, mommy, you know, I was looking forward to it. It was like, uh, give me your American passport. Uh, your American spy. These are cool, cruel, uh, harsh words to somebody who you not have seen supposedly for 11 and a half years. Now, she has seen me uh, in a shape as she considered to be my shape, basically. I've not seen her in a shape I wanted to see her. So she wanted to see me like an animal, it became evident. Well, I wanted to see my mother like a human being. Yes, because I was looking forward to that meeting. I didn't remember the bad stuff that went on during MK Ultra, the all the inhumane stuff that went on. So I was looking forward to the meeting. I was looking forward to make a human relationship with her. But that was not mutual stuff. And the same thing was with the husband of my niece. For my niece, I wouldn't even go into it. Uh, he referred, he continued to refer to me as something that indicated, in a way, a mentally ill, poor cretin. You know, dummy, stupid. Yeah, it's something I have to go over. But he had very, very mental health type of MK Ultra associated words he was using for me. Something I already have written about, but this is actually something, it's a subject separate that I will investigate. We'll have a hiking, walking, uh, and we'll go back in time in MK Ultra. To, to match exactly what went on upon my return from Slovenia, the, as far as the use of the words he referred to me. He insulted me to the degree that I completely withdraw myself away from it. Uh, he, was, he was making his remarks that he made was like, like everything I was doing was disturbing him. Uh, he was absolutely disturbed with absolutely everything I have done. Everything I have done was wrong. And he just couldn't wait, basically, to prove me wrong about everything the fuck I was doing. This guy was completely... I've not seen the guy so obsessed yet that he would be such a personality. Uh, try to exercise on me, like, uh, correct your personality. Like, completely obsessed with proving me uh, his right and absolutely everything about me wrong. Everything bothered him about me. This was the meeting with the Mitya Weber first time in my life in 2006. Uh, briefly, uh, he was even friendly. I was friendly. I ignored. I pretended and admitted if I made a mistake. I was trying to even use whatever awkward things to turn on a humor and, uh, you know, work. Uh, maybe to see if the guy is going to loosen up, if we can create like a human relationship, like a, some sort of human contact or something. It wasn't like this. Uh, it was just like you take a hammer and you just hit the nail. 
Uh, and then the only thing I did was, uh, I, I was taking the insults, but the only thing I did was I withdraw myself away from them. And then I started to work on my projects. Uh, and yeah, thanks God I have enough money uh, after police have lost a case at the local police department. Literally, you had a local police department assembly, uh, a little court over there. Uh, they refused to investigate robbery, a theft of the money which I have deposited to Germany uh, for the uh, car parts. After the assassination plot had taken place in 2007 uh, and have had turned against me, uh, police lost the case against me at their own building, at their own office, uh, and have, rather than to comply with the law, send against me a psychiatrist, psychologist to visit me here inside of the home, who were involved, by the way, in MKUltra with the threats to hospitalize me unless I would leave, I would get the fuck out of home, back obviously to America. This is the way it operated. And he was the big, uh, you know, orchestra maestro, one of those big or maestros, a, a tremendous pillar, a support for my mother, for my father, for my sister in a crime against me. And that's how I left, thanks God, with enough money in my pocket to the United States of America. But I never ever gonna repeat that type of mistake uh, because when I had to leave, uh, I plan on a different type of return. Uh, I wasn't interested in any kind of niceness anymore since, or for the welcome I got like this back home in Slovenia. Uh, I plan on a different kind of uh, welcome. I plan on finishing this case and proving basically about who is what. Uh, nevertheless, Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan continued to work since 98, since 99, uh, on this case, uh, receiving from me a feedback that he's not welcome here. Uh, and that shit went on for some time, uh, till uh, he got probably his degree or something like that, even before that, uh, till, till he got married to my niece, till... till now I wouldn't I couldn't rely on my father, you know, because my father compared me to the together with the Mitya Weber to the Pleveo. Eh? Pleveo, uh, 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 Neza Juliana, Rastrina, uh, uh, Mish, uh, Podgana, uh, therefore uh, a mice, rats, um, a plant which you have to clean from the field so that your plants can grow. Uh, my goodness, uh, that hurts. But that was the stuff that started in, in, in 97 with the Mitya Weber on picture. Uh, they wanted me to acknowledge that I'm a pest, basically. Yeah, and so this, this, was not, this was not friendly at all. This person was not friendly at all. He saw me like a parasite. He saw me like something that needs to go away so he can get his wealth, he can get his money, and the property which father have seen himself in him father told me father disowned me during mk ultra he was his son this was his only son father was bursting from the pride his son had a doctoral degree he was smart he was professor all this and i was a fuck i was a nobody according to my father I was not welcome here anymore. The time came just that the neighbor, Sonia Cotter, repeated me in the face. Right here in front of the house. I'm a nobody. I'm not welcome here. I should get lost from here. I'm a homeless. I'm a shit. This was the school during MK Ultra. And in all this stuff, it was the Milan Kuchan who made himself clear. He made himself bloody clear, repeatedly made himself clear by using Mitya Weber to repeat him in front of me that he is very welcome and Milan Kuchan uh, turning to me and directing me with um, I don't need you anymore. So you see, you see, so I don't need you anymore. 
See, I already have, I already have the man who welcomed me in this house. I don't need you anymore. This was Milan Kuchan stated. You see, I already have men who welcomes me here in this house. So I don't need you anymore. And uh, this shit was repeated to me on a hundred occasions. No less. With Amitya Weber and, me, and, and Mr. Milan Kuchan. And this is a stuff that was used in a parking lot not too long ago. Who do you think you are? Is what the subject, a police subject that Mitya Weber brought on the surface, making sure that he would not even, even finish a sentence, but it would remind me during MK Ultra about what went on. I was a crazy uncle hijacked from United States of America into back into home whenever I was welcome anyways, but you know what? He made himself this place more than a home. Milan Kuchan stated to me, I don't need you anymore. And he explained to me, remember about if I'm welcome here and I'm not welcome here and so on. And he repeated, Milan Kuchan made himself clear about it, not on one, but on several occasions in front of me. I don't need you anymore as far as me being welcome in this house or not. I have him and he pointed at Nitya Weber, that is a husband of my niece, Urshka Golob Weber, who went on to confirm this. Now there is a possibility even that Milan Kuchan used another person with a silicon mask, police officer with a silicon mask giving me his message the same as police was doing with a prince charles to relay me a message however it makes no difference because mitya weber was making himself clear that this no longer is my home together with the neighbors with the quarter with other people that this is not my home i am not welcome here this is not my home he made him so home literally by explaining me that I am nobody and nothing. I don't belong here. And that he did this stuff in the name of the ethnic cleansing. He did, he repeated to me throughout the years for no less than 20 years, this in the name of Milan Kuchan. He repeated to me the words of Milan Kuchan. And this finally, ladies and gentlemen, is a definition of the ethnic cleansing of the genocide that is impossible to refute, yes? Thank you. That's why. When Mitya Weber uh, commenced a fight here in the back of the house, uh, not entirely, because it was all about playing with audio recorders. They knew that I'm audio recording and they were preparing themselves accordingly with what would be presentation according to the audio recordings. Bullet with the issue not entirely, did not state. Who do you think you are? Gdopa Mr. Desi reminded me of Milan Kuchan promise, reminded me of what he was repeating me during MK Ultra for no less than 20 years. This is what police did right here at home and attempted to enforce this through the physical confrontation. Hey, I never thought about myself a whole a lot, um, but I never thought about myself so little that uh, somebody would do ethnic cleansing with me and uh, I would not respond to that in a way that it should be responded in the first place. Um, ethnic cleansing, you know, this is just ethnic cleansing, you know. Uh, ethnic cleansing is something that every professor, every doctor, police have made him a local professor here at the school. Uh, he's a professor, he's a very good professor, he is a very social person, uh, he's very much involved, he is as famous as psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. And I am just a small mentally ill guy, obviously. This is how they wanted to present the case. Uh, a mental, clean, uh, 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 ethnic cleansing 
Uh, this is something that professors, doctors, people with this, he got, remember, I think two degrees or something like that, they very, very, very much understand what ethnic cleansing, what the genocide is. Uh, without, without a doubt, uh, this guy is a master. He's got a master degree in ethnic cleansing issues. I'm not, I'm nothing special, but I'm not less than you, whoever the fuck you are, uh, for one thing. And the second thing is the ethnic cleansing. Uh, this guy has got a doctoral degree. He is a professor in ethnic cleansing science. I'm nothing special. I still I am nothing special, but I know what ethnic cleansing is. Yeah, um, wiping somebody from the face of the planet. Uh, like police did, making sure that I would not even have children, absolutely anything in my life, while farting their own offsprings to this world, uh, was sure that I would never get this, that I would never understand what goes on. And, you know, MK Ultra, MK Ultra is a perversion. This is a perversion. This is perversion. This is two things. This is a perversion and a trauma. Trauma for an individual who is experiencing MK Ultra torture and a perversion in a full motion uh, the more public the more open the more affected the better for the spirits I guess a ritual uh, for the abusers for those that take advantage of it I'm nothing special but yes I know what ethnic cleansing is I would not change in absolutely any way, in absolutely any aspect, because uh, I think welcoming people, being friendly towards people, this is this is a very natural thing to do to associate with the people. These people have really um, dissocialized me, and it's really a lot of issues, a lot of problems and stuff like this. It's really uh, troubling, this stuff, and I'm going to have to take some time to uh, get myself together, you know, but, um, you know, other than that, um, I, I absolutely, I would not do any different way I did. I'm, you know, I'm happy the way I did. I, I'm happy that despite everything I welcomed here, welcomed him. Uh, you know, it, it's just swines in this world, not people, that will do stuff like this for no reason you know and what you what you might think no reason uh, because you are oriented toward work you're oriented toward changing your life uh, in a positive way through the work uh, they will just find the ability to get your wealth to kill you basically Slovenian police was obsessed with the idea that in the United States of America in Britain and in Germany and France and in Italy capitalism this is capitalism this was Milos, Milan Kuchan Miroslav Berger all the time indoctrinated me that for every individual that you kill uh, you are entitled to his wealth. But they became completely, uh, this is a capitalism. This is why the people in capitalism have more. This was a brainwash that went on, in my case, for some 30 years, if not more than that, since my childhood. That uh, capitalism is such that in capitalism, and now we're going to have, uh, unfortunately, bad news for you when the Slovenia became independent. And I said, what is it? It was this Tanya Fayon, Borat Power and all this. Uh, Robert Golop, uh, capitalism is coming. And uh, yo, that's great. Uh, no, it's not great. Do you remember what we told you about killing the people? <laughs> Do you remember what we told you about killing the people? Your wealth depends on how many people you kill. So... The psychiatry so the killing the people, isolating the people through the forced unemployment, the people that own something, 
is eventually profitable for other members within the society. This is the way they work in America. This is the way they work in Germany, in France. This is why they have money. This is why they have in Britain money and so on. Oh, fuck, I didn't know that. And somehow I didn't suffer for it. But this word, the intentions, Tanya Fayon personally will explain about the ethnic cleansing procedure, psychiatric ethnic in cleansing procedure right here to do with me right here in Slovenia upon its independence. Yeah, Mitya Weber is, has a doctorate. He has a master degree from, from ethnic cleansing. His knowledge is based on a pure schizophrenia. Fear from what he have experienced, seen, they were doing with me. And have sworn in instead will do anything in this world he possibly can to avoid. And even get a hold of my peace in this world. Whatever God brought me to this place here, in his pocket. He only wanted the best. He only wanted the good stuff. He wanted the cream. He didn't want to get any pain, any sorrow. He's got a doctoral degree. He knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. I'm not concerned about him not knowing what the fuck he did. Because if there is one person... This so-called leftist, the so-called communist... Which psychiatric hospital Ljubljana... Polya is packed with them, jam-packed with them. They know very good about what ethnic cleansing is.